This is the GME one month overview reading for October 2022. It's currently September 26, 2022, 5.31 p.m. Eastern Time. So the overall theme and behavior for the month, we have a notable move from the bottom of a range to the top of a range. That's on like the scale, you know, a big range on the scale of a one month chart. Um, but it starts, that move higher starts out of a decline. Um, my sense is that we have a high here early in the, in the year, or excuse me, early in the month, um, and a low towards the end of the month. Uh, behavior around the high, we're going to have a fast sudden move higher to, to reach the high. It'll start out of a decline. Um, and move move high and uh, move into the high, but fast and suddenly. Uh, behavior around the low on a on a on a one on a year to date chart, it'll stand out as a, a notable reversal. Um, oh, and the the strength card's also crossed with the disappointment card. So at some point, we're going to attempt to break through a resistance level. Possibly we break through a resistance level and then we come back down and then we go higher past that resistance level to another one. And at that level, um, people are expecting us to break through, but instead we turn around and we decline through uh, key support instead. Um, so that's crossed with this move to the upside out of a decline and it looks like that's probably towards the very end of the month. Um, the high and the low are also in close proximity to each other. Like they could be within like a day or two or within a few days of each other, uh, the high and the low for the month. Um, and it appears that we have uh, a similar pattern going on here. This this GME reading is not, a, it doesn't give me as much information as some of these other October readings for whatever reason. It's not clearly definitively identifying a high or a low for the month. However, it is still following a very similar pattern to that of many of the other October readings that I've done. Um, and with that said, it appears that there's like uh, an early crest followed by a drop, followed by a rally higher uh, into the end of the first week. Um, and then we have some like price swing, like a, like some really, really erratic behavior here between the 10th and the 12th, um, possibly a high and a low there. Um, but there's a lot, there's definitely gonna be like a, a price swing or some sort of shakeout or fake out. It'll stand out, big, big moves. Um, and then it looks like we have more lows between like the 20th and the 25th, as well as a crest. It looks like we have a crest, a prominent crest on both ends of that dip. So like on the 20th or the 19th or probably the 18th, um, matter of fact. And then on the other end of that weekend, probably like the 25th or the 27th, or sorry, the 26th or the 27th. Um, so on the, on the third, we have a decline to and through a support level. We meet a secondary support level. We move sideways along that support. Um, and at some point, the day's low on the third, there'll be a move higher out of that day's low, successfully turning resistance into new support. And that's key resistance on a one day chart. On the fourth, we have a swing trade opportunity. It's uh, I'm advised to be cautious around this trade opportunity, multiple false uh, tops or or bottoms or some like tricky behavior back and forth. It does overall look like a pretty, pretty decline day. Um, we likely uh, passed through a key support level on a one month chart that we had recently passed maybe at the beginning, uh, at the end of September. We had broken through it once before. Um, there's a big move on a one day chart. It'll stand out out of the low on the fourth. On the fifth, we have um, a, a, period of, a period of volatility with a sharp dip in the midst of that period of volatility that'll stand out on a one month chart. Um, the high for the day on the fifth uh, will form when we have a big move out of oversold territory or to fill a previous gap down. And the, um, there'll be a big move off of the low again. It'll stand out on a one day chart. On the sixth, we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart followed by a decline through key support on a one month chart. Um, we decline to and through a support level, bounce along a support level, and then we break down through multiple support levels. It looks like there's possibly a uh, trough there. Um, uh, on the on 
the seventh we attempt to establish actually the trough may the trough's like six seventh it's really not that clear on this reading for whatever reason but uh there's a trough on the six seventh and it looks like on the seventh we attempt to establish uh key support on a one month chart or re-establish key support on the one month chart and then on the tenth uh it looks like we have um congress highlighted or uh and not so uh common leader of some sort is highlighted there on the tenth um Like I said, on many of the other charts, there's a big price swing here. Like there's a high on the 10th on a lot of the charts and then also a low on the 10th or a low on the 11th on, on the charts, followed by maybe another high on the 12th and then a low at the end of the week. So that's a pretty crazy week. I'm not seeing that much erratic behavior going on there, but they are conflicting and they are conflicting energies. Like the 12th is a breakout to the upside. The 13th is a decline through multiple support levels. This, these are on one month chart, uh, one month chart scale. And then the 14th, we have a prominent trough. Sorry. On the 14th, we have a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart, followed by a decline through key support on a one month chart. Um, and it looks like we decline pretty hard off of a, a crest. We might do a move, high, a big move higher and then a big move lower. Um, on the 17th, we have a U-shaped dip. Looks like we have, um, we also have a failed attempt to break through key resistance on a one month chart followed by a decline through key support on a one month chart. That's either on the 17th or the 18th. There's erratic behavior back and forth on the 18th and we revisit a, a, a opportunity that we recently visited at a past, uh, we revisit a crest that was recently a past opportunity in the midst of that erratic behavior on the 18th. On the 19th, an important price level is highlighted. The high for the day there on the 19th is going to form when we have a big move out of oversold territory or um, from being uh, for, to fill a previous gap down. Um, and an important resistance level highlighted there on the, 20, on the 19th. On the 20th, we, it looks like we have energy for a crest and a trough. So um, there's a crest and a trough within close proximity to the 20th. They may not be the same day, but sometimes that happens. Um, there's a trade opportunity near the high on the 20th um, and out of the low um, on the 20th there is a bit of a rally towards the end of the day. Um, we have a swing trade opportunity on the 21st. In the midst of volatility there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that period of volatility. I don't, uh, I'm not so sure about a rally out of the low on the 20th. Uh, but there's a there's a notable rally out of the out of the high on the or sorry out of the low of the month there'll be a notable rally we'll get into that in a second. Um, we have sideways rotation uh, along uh, key support level on the one month chart on the 20, 20th and then the twenty first is that side uh, that volatility with the fast sudden move higher mark at the end of that period of volatility. The swing trade opportunity there on the twenty first involves multiple fail, uh, fail uh, multiple fail attempts multiple failed attempts to break through key resistance. Um, on the 24th, we have another price level that's highlighted, another resist, uh, resistance level, and we also have a, a move uh, on a one-day chart. It'll, it'll be a move that stands out to the upside to reach the, the high for the one-day chart on the 24th. Um, looks like we probably have another uh, trough for the month here, uh, 24th, 25th. Um, on the 25th, we move higher through resistance, followed by a decline back through that same price level shortly thereafter. There's also what appears to be a crest there and a big move to reach that crest either on the 25th or the 26th there's two swing trade opportunities or a day trade opportunity here on the 26th um, in the midst of volatility there's an opportunity to position oneself in both directions um, one of the trade opportunities on the 26th involves a rally along a diagonal trend line this is on a scale of a one-day chart a rally uh, along a diagonal trend line breaking through horizontal resistance meeting secondary resistance and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels <laughs> um, and then the other swing trade opportunity involves a move higher even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds. Um, another big move on a one-day chart to reach a, a day's high on the 26th. And we also have a failed attempt to break through key resistance followed by a, a decline through key support on a one-day chart on the 26th to reach the low. On the 27th, we have a period of rotation along a support level and a fast sudden move higher marking the end of that period of rotation. There's also a swing trade opportunity there. 
Uh, I'm advised to be cautious, multiple false tops or bottoms, uh, maybe some sort of intentional fake out or shake out, some tricky behavior there um, around the low on the 27th. Uh, sorry, around the trade on the 27th and a big move out of the, the day's low on the 27th um, to reach a distant resistance level. It'll stand out on a one day chart. On the 28th, we have the end of a rally uh, or the completion of a rally. There's a one day high early on in the day on the 28th um, and it appears in the midst of some uh, some bullish price swings. On the 31st, we have uh, bearish uh, flux. We have bearish sideways fluctuations um, that precede a rally. Um, and then the sneak preview card is uh, off of a crest, we decline to and through support level uh, and then do a reversal below that support level and come back and reuse that support as that, that price level as support. That's the sneak preview behavior for, for November. Um, but my sense, if it's anything like, um, since the highs and the lows weren't that easy to determine here, if it's anything like, it, it looks like it probably is following pretty similar to a lot of the other stocks into the S&P 500, but this may end up being uh, a little bit more divergent than some of the other other stocks. So we'll have to see. Wish I could give you more information, guys. Sometimes I don't get a lot, especially during retrograde. Sometimes it's not the easiest to extrapolate. But what you do get, you can't get it anywhere else. You add that information in with your technical analysis, and it does give you an edge. I'm sure of that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you, if you want to see more of GME. Um, and then also, guys, don't forget that rule of karma. Super important. If you don't know what the rule of karma is, check out the video on our YouTube channel. Rule of karma is super important if you're, if you're planning to utilize this information to, to profit from. Um, with that said, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.